Hey guys, welcome to part 2 of this playlist. In this video, we're gonna set up our login and register fragment. So we're gonna design the fragments that Activity is gonna host, which are 4 fragments. So let's actually get started. And before anything, you need to download the requirements of this video. So I actually left you this file which has this video's requirements. So in the first folder, I actually prepared the drawables. So copy them and paste them inside your drawable file in Android Studio. Click on OK. And we also need this styles file. So copy this file and paste it inside the values file in your Android Studio project. Click on OK. So as you can see, these three styles for the text views, this style for the blue button, this style for the white button, and this style for the edit text, and here's some sizes that used in these styles. And finally, we need to add these two drawables also. So right click on your drawable, new, then click on Victor Asset, and here select local file, and we're gonna import these two files. Go actually to the folder that you downloaded and extend it, then extend the textures folder. So let's import the first images, the texture left, click on OK, next, finish, and import the other one. So the same process, but this time we're gonna import the texture right, next, finish. Okay, now let's get started. Now extend your layout file and let's create layout for the fragments. We need four layout. The first one is for the fragment, for the introduction fragment. Create that. We need one more. We can copy it and we paste it inside the package. Now we can change the name. Now this one is for the account options. And this fragment is actually the one where we show the two options, the login option and the register option. So click on OK, and now we need one more for the login fragment. So login, and finally for the register fragment. So register. And then inside your fragments package, right click and create a new package inside the fragments package, and this time call it login register. So inside this package, we will put the fragments for this activity, which is the login and register activity. So let's create four fragments. The first one is the introduction fragment. Fragment. And now let's extend from the fragment class. And we are going to pass the ID of this one, of the fragment introduction, this one. So r.layout.com. Let's import the R, uh, fragment introduction. Now copy this fragment and paste it again inside the same package, but this time is, but this time for the account options. And let's change the ID for fragment account options. Paste one more time for the login and change this to login fragment fragment login and finally for the register so register fragment and change this to fragment register okay now let me close these tabs and let's start with the introduction of fragment so we're gonna design this fragment make sure that your parent layout is a constraint layout and here let's actually start designing so let me show you a picture of that fragment as you can see and as you can see we are using guidelines with these designs and guideline is just a helper tool that comes with constraint layouts and it's just a line that can be placed according to a specific percentage of the screen or according to a specific margin of the screen you'll see that soon it's actually simple but it's very useful when you work with constraint layout there's a vertical guideline and the horizontal guideline in this case, we want a horizontal guideline. So right click on your preview area. And you can see we have this option, which is add helpers. And here you're gonna add a horizontal guideline. We have this top arrow, and this one is a clickable actually. So if you click it and click it one more time, as you can see now it turned to a percentage. And now we want it at 33% of our screen. So make sure to put it here. And as you can see, Android Studio has attached 
this block of code for the guideline. So you can actually write this manually. You can create your guideline and add the percent here. And then as we said, we want it at 33 percentage. And now let me just change the name of this guideline and I'm gonna make it guideline left texture. And now let's actually add the image view, this one, this image. So let's add it. So image view, which is gonna take zero DB for both. We're gonna take scale type of center crop and we're going to add the source, uh, which is texture left, this one. And then let's actually add the constraints. So from the top to the top of the parent, from bottom to the bottom, this time we wanna make it with the guideline. And that's why we actually put that guideline, guideline here. So with the guideline, lift texture, and start to the start of the parent. Now we wanna add a ratio. And this ratio is one to three. Then close this image view block. And as you can see, here is our image view. Next, we wanna actually add this ellipse, this one. But for this ellipse, we actually need four guidelines. One from the top, one from the bottom, one from the left, and one from the right. So let's actually do that. Let's actually create four guidelines. So right click again, um, click on add helpers. We're gonna add First, let's add the uh, the vertical guidelines. Uh, we actually added a horizontal one, so let me delete it. And again, helper, and we're gonna add a vertical one. And double click on here. Uh, it's not working. Okay, let's, okay, now it's working. If, if it doesn't work for you, you can just change it from the code. So let's do that actually. Let's change it to percent and I want this to be 0.15 and now let's change its name to ellipse left and let's copy it and paste it below and here change it to right, change the name to right and also change the percentage to 85 so this will show it here and now we need two more for the top and for the bottom so let's actually do that right click add helpers and let's add a horizontal guideline and this one is guideline ellipse top and we change the percentage to 19 percent 19 or point 19 and finally we need one more so copy this one paste it change its name uh, to bottom and we change also the percentage to 52 i think let me check Yes, 52. And now finally we can add our image view. So image view. And it's gonna take zero DB for both. And I'm gonna add an ID for this one. So ID ellipse. And uh, let's actually add the constraints. So start to the start of this guideline, which is left, ellipse left. Uh, left, where is it? Here is and to the right so right end end actually and top to the top of this one also bottom to the bottom of this one now let's add a background and this background is drawable ellipse i included this in the file and as you can see it's not an exact circle so to make it an exact circle we need to add a ratio and that ratio is one to one now let's actually add the text, this text, the right address for shopping any day. So let's do that. So I'm gonna create text view here. And I'm gonna give it wrap content for both. Let's give it an ID. TV right address for shopping. This is the ID and uh, let's actually give it the style and this time is h2 style is at at styles h2 wait doesn't recognize it let me see what we can do instead let's actually create a new resource file and call this as tiles and 
and and get back to the file and then right click on this and open with then choose the notepad and then copy the code then paste it in here okay now let's get back and try one more time so I'm gonna delete this line style and we're gonna need to add h4 yeah now they are visible and here we're gonna have margin from the top 115 db but in your case you would better to get that from the diamond so diamond let's name it tv write address margin then you click on alt and enter create that and here you add 100 15 db click on ok now i'm gonna add the constraints so top to the top with this guideline which is the texture guideline then start to the start of our ellipse and end of our ellipse and bottom to the bottom of our ellipse Then we want to add our text, so let's add that. And again, here you need to get it from the string, the right address, alt and enter, then enter again. And here you're gonna type the text. Let's see the text actually, it's the right address. Okay, the right address, new line. And then for shopping, for shopping and new line any day so any day click on enter and text alignment make it center then gravity also center then actually it looks small this must take 35 sp Okay, it's my issue actually because I'm previewing on the desktop. So let's change that to phone and now it looks the same of our original design. Now below this text, we actually need to add this little text. So let's do that. We're going to have a text view. It's going to take wrap content for both. It's going to take style of H2. And let's add the constraints. Start to the start of this one and to the end of the same one top to the bottom of the same one and we're gonna add text alignment center and gravity center and let me add an id for this one which is tv quality and let's add the text let's get that from the string quality Create that it is now very easy to reach the so let's type that then add new line the next line best quality among all the so best quality among the new line and here products on the internet so products on the internet and with the exclamation mark then click on ok but let's actually add a margin here so margin from the top and this is 15 db margin okay the next thing we want to do in this fragment is this right texture so let's add that which is gonna be an image view and this is gonna take wrap content for both and the source is from the drawable right text to right this one then let's actually add the constraints so this will be on the right which is end into the parent and top with the bottom of this of this guideline and this one is for the lift uh, for the left texture so left texture this one and uh, as you can see it shows here and finally we're gonna design our button this one so let's do that so below this image view create a app combat button 
and for the width it's gonna be from the diamond small button size or small button width so create that and this is gonna take 130 db and for the height it's gonna be the same so copy this and here we're gonna change it to height and let's create it so this one is gonna be 55 db and now we need to add the style which i've already prepared for you which is the button style or actually the blue button style this one and we need to add the constraints to the top with the bottom of this text which is tv quality and start to the start with the same text view and to the end the same text view and bottom to the bottom of the parent and finally let's add the text which is from the string or I'm just gonna type that uh, directly so start and that's actually it now we have a problem I can't see that there's a corner edges on this button and I think that is because we haven't defined the corner diamond let's actually go to our uh, blue background drawable file and as you can see this one is not recognizable so let's create that and this is 5 db now if we get back you can notice that now we have some little curves at the edges of this button okay guys so that was all for this video in the next video we will complete designing the other fragments if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and happy eid for all my muslim brothers and i will catch you in the next video